Harry's divorce intentions the IRS needs a forensic accountant to look through their charity's money made, money spent, etc., all of Betsy's hidden money on some island or Swiss bank. Over 42 months have passed since Max was declared through statements and television, crying after the release of the tunnel book, the podcast, the Netflix documentary series, and numerous magazine and television interviews similar to Reese. The king orders Harry to prove children's existence, proof of surrogacy exposed. The IRS needs a forensic accountant to look through their charity's money focus has been placed on the Duchess of Sussex's escape from blindness. The Daily Mail and Newsweek cited data indicating that the expenditures associated with the Duchess's relocation to the United States as well as numerous court disputes in London appear to total roughly $23.4 million. However, that sum assumes that Harry wins in port even if he loses each of these conflicts. The entire amount, if you felt like you were suffering through the entrance press, might be more than $50 million. Hold on to your hands while the inflation and rises occur. According to figures from the Mail, Harry and Meghan may portray themselves as normal kids who enjoy biking, hiking, and beach walks with their dog but this normalcy comes at a price that is anything but normal. By 2020, even in Sussex, the cost would be approximately $6.7 million, including the mortgage, security staff, travel expenses, and food. However, the question that arises is where they will get the money to support such a lavish lifestyle. We can make a difference by contributing to the construction of playgrounds and play areas and advancing fairness, the notification claims. The campaign has already exceeded its initial goal of $20,000 with an amazing total of $88,000. Though it doesn't mention the amount, Harshwell is only one of several that have teamed up with Kaboom on this endeavor. Despite Megan's PR team's boasting, Sources claim that it's unclear how much of her charity's funds would get to the victims, some will reportedly be moved to their private accounts. According to the source, they transferred the funds to Doria's accounts and then established a fictitious business using Doria's name, the Karen Loving Senior Living Home or something like. The Doria LLC may perhaps act as a front, even if Meghan might still be identified as the recipient of the funds. Doria would therefore be identified as the company's CEO and CFO on the registration documents. What would stop Meghan from exploiting a mother the same way she did at the wedding to demand money for her laundry? Meghan has found Doria to be a useful tool for compiling the 12 IRS 990 yearly filings for 2022, which are not yet available. If Archwell gave more than $5,000 to Kaboom and they need to report it in the Form 990 for 2022, I assume they won't file it until November 2023. The R12 Foundation won't be needed to submit the Form 990 and will only be required to file an abbreviated version that provides substantially less information if it earned less than $5,000 in donations in 2022. I was crossing my fingers that they would continue to get more than $50,000 so that we could continue to understand the financial situation. One Twitter user said that whenever they hear about Doria's retirement community, they are reminded of the movie I Care A Lot, in which Rosamund Pike plays a caseworker who has wealthy elderly clients who have been deemed incapable of caring for themselves and steals all of their possessions.